What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Jay Reed, for Jay Reed's Love of Cars. So, I got the steering wheel in. So, in this video, we're going to talk about the steering wheel. Here it is right here. Got the uh, quick release on it, the screws in it. Now, you noticed, you noticed, now you notice you don't see the horn piece. There is a reason for that. The reason for no horn piece is because the horn that came with the steering wheel does not work well with this quick release it doesn't sit flat i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about this is the horn that came with the steering wheel you see how thick that is that's no bueno that's no bueno so we couldn't use the horn piece and the accessories it came with this too but even with this on there it still does not sit right because that don't sit you would think this goes off off in there like that but it doesn't it's even worse it goes in there like like that like this sits like that so that's going to even make it stick out even further so i did not include the horn piece on the steering wheel now like i said in the previous video the steering wheel is a pretty good quality for the most part. Now, the one thing I'm not sure that I like is the fact that only thing that's holding it on is these little screws. These are not even lock nuts. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on those. Whereas with the grit, you get three pretty large bolts that just go into the hub and the uh, steering wheel. Now, this quick release part, that's pretty cool. It can be kind of timid to get it lined up, and I could not line it straight up. You see that little rivet right there? That That's what's, what goes on the other side of the shaft. Ideally, I would have wanted that up here, but the way that the screw holes align, I could not, and that took a little bit of working and figuring it out just to get it right there. But it does feel sturdy. Okay, so the yard guy mowed my yard yesterday and they just disrespect my Mustang every time. You see all the grass on it? They try to blow it off, but they, they do a suck-ass job. Even if you park the cars in the front, they do a suck-ass job. So, yeah. But what are you going to do? I have nowhere else to put the car. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This thing on. This is what it looked like. You notice... Probably need to clean that a little bit because I did not use that horn piece. That it was, uh, it didn't hit those anyway, so it was totally useless for my purposes. In fact, it actually looks better without it. Just need to clean that up because that's where grease and where it slid up on there. And the hub itself, and my shaft got some play in it, but for this cheap ass hub, only 15 bucks. Seems like it may be pretty good quality. We'll have to tell with these shafts to see if that's real soft metal. You know, I don't want it to wear down and my shit just be spinning and a car going straight. But, so I have to keep an eye on that. And like I was saying, the hub is screwed on to the, um, the quick release. The bottom of the quick release hub is screwed on to this hub with these same little screws and these are even shorter so i'm definitely going to have to keep an eye on that now what i wish i would have done and the good part about this is like the maintenance like if i ever want to need to to look at this to make sure it's still tight because i probably should have put blue lock tight on it but all i had was red so i didn't put nothing on it but eventually i'll come back unscrew it take it out and put some blue lock tight on it as you can see it's pretty easy to, to get to for the most part I can stick a wrench off in there and make that shit work. That may be enough space just to beep, beep, beep. So I got to keep an eye on that. But this is what it looks like screwed onto the actual uh, steering column shaft or whatever you want to call it. Is that like my go-to saying, whatever you want to call it? So as you can see, I mean, it looks like it's pretty cheap metal, but it's on there good. It is on there good. And all you got to do is just push this back up. 
can't do it one hand eventually if you do that too much i can get the feeling you'll probably mess some up so we're not gonna do it too much we're gonna push it all the way up there like that look that's nice and clean this actually looks a lot better than the grant setup now so you can just get in the car whoop de whoop and we'll see if i can do this with one hand you squeeze that make sure it's lined up Can y'all see that? You make sure it's lined up and boom, slide it on. And it actually doesn't look bad without the horn button. It actually look more, what's the word I'm looking for? It actually look more like racy. I don't use the horn anyway. If you watch my previous videos, you'll see that I put the horn down there. Now, is it close? It is kind of close to to my chest and my seat won't let back any farther but it's still a good feel and like i was saying the good thing about it is when i get in and out i'm not going to have it on anyway i'm going to take it off throw it over to the side or take it with me if it's at night so all in all i think it was a pretty good idea to get this this whole setup didn't cost but i think it was 62 dollars on ebay and i'll put the links below if you are interested in getting it. um yeah so I'm happy with it. I know that this wheel is probably real thin. And if I were to rear end somebody, this bitch going to say, Bruh. it's just going to fold. Bruh. But I only really drive the car to the track. So that decreases any odds of safety issues that may arise from a $62 steering wheel setup. Even when you bend hard on it, the whole thing, I mean, the whole thing moves, not I don't really feel any flex in the steering wheel other than a flex in the whole shaft. This is what it looks like. Even without taking off, I can still get in and out. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I like that. That looks way better. It looks like I actually intended it to be that way. Looks trick down a mug. Jill. Glad I made that decision. Should have just did that in the first place. Instead, I wasted my money on the grant. But the main reason why I got the grant first because I just wasn't sure about if this stuff was going to even fit on the car. But once I understood how removing the steering wheel worked and understood the hub and the parts and stuff, then I knew that what I had saw previously was going to work. And I had a few extra bucks, so I said, you know what, I gotta have it. Now this is how you take it off. So when it's time to take it off, you just push up and it slides off. That is awesome. I like it and I like it quite a bit. So there you go, folks. That is the review of my quick release eBay steering wheel and steering wheel hub and I already said quick release. I like it, it's pretty good. The shaft is greased, they put grease on it. Lubricant. This is what the inside of it looks like. So, we'll just have to see how long it lasts. And even if it doesn't, then I could always replace any of this for cheap, for less than an oil change. That's a damn shame. But anyway, that's going to be pretty good. I can't do this with one hand. Gotta have to. Oh, I did it with one hand. See, you can even do it with one hand. Boom. This is cheap. But it feels good and it works. It's probably right, right where it needs to be, too. Because I got plenty of room with this seat. If I had the other seat in here, I wouldn't be so certain. Yes.
So anyway, this your boy Jay Reed for Jay Reed's Love, of course. That's the update on the steering wheel. That project is done. On to the next. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Mm -hmm.